So we're going to look at how quick and easy it is to create a shortened link. Uh, and we're going to use Bitly to do that. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is, is find what you want to link. In this case, I'm going to link this slideshow. So if you're linking from Google, it's important that you're always checking your shared settings. Here, I want to change it so it's not private only to me because that would send um, error messages. And I'm going to change to anyone with the link. Okay, and now I'm going to copy that link. There we go. And I'm going to take that link and I'm going to bring it over to uh, bit.ly.com. And you'll have to make an account, but it's free. And uh, the nice thing about a Bitly account is that it always will keep track of how many times that link has been clicked. So that is another really great reason that you might want to use a link shortener. So I'm going to click on the big create button at the top. I paste my very long URL, especially if it's something from Google. And then it's going to generate. And I could just go with copy and use this. But I always want to use um something that's custom and so here i'm going to go and use tech 20 underscore one one that follows the convention that i've been using uh, do note that these are case sensitive so i'm going to click save now this will change up here and i'm going to go copy and now that link is ready to put anywhere. So I paste that into a new tab and we're right back at that presentation. Bitly is a great site and it's free.